All right, so I'm going to show you some box art, past, present, and future. You're going to let me know uh, sure. what your impressions and feelings and everything else are. Yeah, he looks like he's about to tell your life story and tells you that you have, you're going to end up with three cats alone, you know, that, that, that kind of thing. A lot of times all you had to go on was the box art. And it tells the story of the game from just an image. And it really made you think, oh man, what's this game about? What's this game about? Who are the people that did this work and who, what were they thinking about the work? I was doing like Transformer box covers and Voltron. Started out drawing pictures on the black top. I worked mainly on doing graphics. My history really starts with the drawing of type. Early on, there was almost absolutely no relationship between what you put on the cover and what you could actually do in the game. Haunted House. So that was a, a good example of a, of a montage with a lot of different elements that told the story. The characters didn't look like this in the game Cyberball, but uh, that's kind of how I wish they looked. This is literally the first video game ever that had a celebrity in it. You had to know color, shape, style, uh, type style. You have to become an expert on everything. We're having to imagine and create from almost nothing. <laughs> so when you plug that thing into your game, you already had a story in mind. I send the illustration back to these guys, thinking, you know, I felt really good about it. And so I get this big, long letter just tearing it to shreds. Cousin Dave goes to me and says, Tom, you owe Sports Illustrated $15,000 for using that image. It became less of that moment of excitement and more of that symbolism of something you're already familiar with. Now a Zelda game can literally just say Legend of Zelda on it and it'll sell just as much as you know the originals did. And I like when it tells the entirety of the game's story on the box art right there. You know, it would be shame if the people who were responsible for those didn't get their due credit. We just were having fun, and we never thought of it as having any kind of legacy. Would this be a poster you put up on your wall? No. No? I feel like the Dracula would haunt my dreams. I'm good. I'm, I'm all <laughs>